हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू आवर चैनल शोर इन दी फैमिली कराते टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू द फिकी का टाइची सो आई विल डू टू डायरेक्शंस फर्स्ट फेसिंग यू नेक्स्ट ऑपोजिट साइड सो प्लीज वॉच I'm doing reverse. Now, how to do the kata uh, uh, step by step? So I am going to dissect each step and I am going to explain it. Okay. The first step is you have to come to the musubidachi, leg in V shape, hands on your sides. You have to hold the hand on your sides, and you have to bow, and you have to say the kata name, fiki kata ichi. Then you have to say yoi. Yoi means the, the muscle will say yoi. So keep your feet together this way. So first you have to keep your, your right hand in the front, then left hand on top. That is how it should be done. So the leg, right hand down, left hand on top. Then the first step is when the first count is turned, slightly bend, slightly bend to prepare for the movement. Okay? Slightly bend, then put the leg, cross your hand, cross your hand, and the lower block hand should come inside. So, strike. As you are striking, if you notice, I am trying to reach my hand to the knee level. So, when you do that, there is a slanting position, slanting. Okay? And try to keep your hip maximum as straight as possible. Down. You have to look always front, then move front. When you are punching, first leg, then punch. When you are punching also, the hip will tight, hip will tight. So as you are punching, hip is tightening. So again, the hand is coming, put the leg first, then hit. While hitting, try to reach the knee. You know, as you reach the knee, the body will be bending backward. The same way your hip will tight, as hip tights, the hip tight. Then move friend again, as you are punching, the hip is coming, then hip is going back, so it is tightening, so it is this way. So which you will understand as you move friend. Then the next step is the same way, move the leg here, so make, make it as straight as possible, so then strike. As I am tightening, so the strike is coming, it is not just hand movement, it is your hip also, tight, so it is tight. So this, this area is tight, it is closed, it is closed. As you stand like this, this is open, it is open, wide open. So what you should do, tight it. So this is tight now, the groin area is tight. So the hand is here, then you move friend. So first is lower block, then three times middle punches. As you are punching, as you are punching, your hip is coming and going back. So it is opposite, opposite motion, so opposite. Again the leg is coming, the hip is coming front first, then it will go back, this way. 
Now we are going to turn to the corner. Not full turn. It is 45 degree turning. Okay. So before that you have to keep your leg first. So make sure the body is fully balanced when you are turning. So body is fully balanced. Hold your hand. Side. Lower block. Then you are going to upper block. So put the leg first. Then the same movement of your hip. So concentrate on your hip movement guys. The hip movement is very important. Here. Then you have to do lower block to the corner. The same way corner. So here it goes down. Then we are going to do upper block. When you are doing remember hip movement. Ready. Now it is Jakusuki. So put the hand. Jakusuki. Same movement. Jakusuki. Jakusuki. Then we are turning to the corner. So keep your hand strike. When you are striking, remember your hip is fully turned. As your hip turn, then coming to upper punch. The same way, as you are punching, you should not go this way. No, it is not this way. It is opposite. Then going this way. Same way, upper punch. Okay, up. Now the upper block, when you do the upper block, because when you turn there, you do the upper block. Make sure your upper block is, the hand is always within the body frame. If you make a body frame here, your hand, the elbow should be remaining in the body frame, inside the body. So, the elbow don't go so up, it's not good because this becomes so loose and open, too much open. So, keep your hand a bit inside, inside, inside your body, okay, inside your body. But let the hand be there. This is how the upper block should be done. Okay. And this way. So make sure that try to maintain the elbow inside. Next is how to do the lower block. When you do the lower block, bring the hand to the opposite shoulder. From there you strike. So as you bring it, try to turn the hand here. Turn. Then strike. So it is full twisting or turning the complete, you know, the upper, I mean the lower hand, the what I call the front area of the hand. So it goes right with this area. Okay. The same way Gyakusuki. When we are going back, it is Gyakusuki. Gyakusuki means you have to first put your, you know, the opposite leg. If it is left leg, then you have to keep your right hand. Then if it is right leg, then it is your left hand. Remember always, uh, you know, to use first leg movement, then hand movement. Not leg and hand together, no. You have to always remember that you are not going to use leg and hand together. Don't use leg and hand together. You have to use it always first leg then hand. First leg loosen the position, loosen your knee then side and back. Now how to move your hip? In all the punches, in all the blocks, the movement of the hip is very vital, very important to generate power. Now how can you do that? For example, when you are punching, the normal punch, if you are punching, Remember, the hip will come together with your fist, okay? Together with the fist, as you are punching, the hip will go back. Again, watch. It's coming front, then hip goes back. What does it mean? When the hip is going back, your two legs, your leg, this is open now. I am tightening, see, I am tightening. So it becomes tight. It just, you know, twists and it tights your groin area. So this is to protect the groin area that you are using your hip. So remember always a punch this way. So remember, it goes opposite side. When the hand is coming to this direction, the hip goes to the opposite direction. So watch. And remember, your back feet. Okay, your back foot, what you should do is, as you are punching, as you are punching, see my back foot. It turns toward you, it turns. The hip goes here. It turns. Okay. It turns. See from the back of my feet. Okay. So I am punching. See my back feet. It turns. Here. It turns. Why? Because if you do that, there is so much tightness happening inside the groin. And next thing is that every punch or every movement should be from the relaxing mode, then tightening mode, sudden mode. That means, if you are standing there, you are going to punch, the knee is relaxed, you go there, everything is relaxed, then the moment of attack, 
you are tightening both your knee, your hip, everything you are tightening. But immediately relax. That is how you need to do Fikikata Hichi. So remember, there may be little, uh, you know, what we call variations based on the teachings of different masters. But we are trying to teach uh, the same thing what is taught to me from our Tamaki Sensai. Tamaki Sensai and Tokashiki Sensai from Okinawa, Japan. Okay? So, thank you so much. Please subscribe to our video if you like it. Please give a thumbs up. Thank you so much.